All right, let's get to this weather. I, I know we just showed you those beautiful images around town at the beach, lots of sunshine. I'm sure maybe that was Saturday because we had rain yesterday. We got some more rain on the way here. Taking a live look, saying good morning to you in Beeville, where we're dry at this hour, but we are expecting that to change as we head on throughout today. Scattered shower activity, pretty much everyone going to get a little bit of that rain today. Some places more than others, just like these temperatures. Some places a little warmer than others at this hour. If you're closer to the coastline, a little warmer, 82 in Port Aransas, 80 in Flower Bluff over at the Naval Air Station, 79 in Rockport, uh, still hanging on to some lower 70s by Beeville, Mathis, and Orange Grove, all sharing a 73 for the start of this morning. As far as the winds go, light and variable, and despite how much moisture we have in the atmosphere, usually when we have light winds combined, that makes for some fog and visibility restrictions. Not seeing that so far this morning, but uh, the wind's going to pick up again a little bit this afternoon. Not going to be quite as breezy. Probably going to keep between 10 and 15 miles per hour generally on shore. Something that is on the increase for today is going to be those rain chances. So for today and into Tuesday, probably going to be the rainiest days of the week. That comes down a little bit as we head on into your Wednesday and Thursday and then Friday. I don't want to give you too much hope here. We're still keeping some rain in the forecast for Friday. This is not set in stone, though. There are some models trending to the idea that we may dry out a little bit just in time for the holiday weekend. I know everybody is paying attention to that, so we're going to keep an eye on that for forecast for you. But I do I do know for certain today we are going to see some rain already getting that trying to make its way in on the islands here. Rockport, you're about to get a little shower there and some of that trying to make its way into Nueces and San Patricio counties, but not getting very far before they fizzle out. Now these showers are because of some added moisture we have in the atmosphere because of a little low pressure that moved in yesterday. If you were checking the radar, notice we had a lot of showers begin to pop up. So yeah, expect more of that today. This is the way future track looks for this afternoon. Some showers and thunderstorms popping up around our areas. Pretty much all of our counties getting in on the rain. Then we get a little bit of a break. It comes back for Tuesday. Another break comes back for Wednesday. So it's going to be very hit or miss going on to the next couple of days. But as far as today goes, We'll warm up to the upper 80s and uh, some places might get a little bit closer to 90 depending on how much sunshine and the timing of those storms, but generally going to be on the cooler side of things in comparison to where we've been lately. But showers and storms dotting the hour by hour forecast today going on for your Monday and for the next seven days, we're going to keep the greatest rain chances for today and tomorrow. Those begin to taper off a little bit as we head towards the end of the week. We're still going to keep those isolated showers in the forecast for the holiday weekend at this point, but keep checking back this week. We're going to keep a careful eye on it for you, Apollo.